What's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys how to do your own mix. Quick little mix using an airbrush and a little applicator bottle with a mixture. Stay tuned, check it out. All right, so let me show you guys my process of mixing Kiss Express Enhancement Solution for your airbrush, your cordless airbrush. You're gonna use alcohol, you're gonna need an applicator bottle with a top, it has a top, I just didn't show it right there, but it has a top on it to screw on and close, completely sealing it. Anyways, so you're gonna get the bottle, you're gonna put some alcohol in it, and then you're gonna kinda eyeball it, you know, it's, it's really easy, you really don't need measurements, this is super simple. You know, and I'm gonna realize here that I put too much, so then I'm gonna pro I'm gonna dump some out. Not probably, I do dump it out. I'm gonna dump it out, and then you just go from that point. So now I'm gonna add the color Kiss Express Black. If anybody wanted to know, and to be honest, just eyeball it. There's no math that needs to be involved or nothing. Just eyeball it. You know, see how much you put in. Obviously, there's going to be more color than there is alcohol. And then that's it, basically. And you're going to put the top on, screw it, shake it up. When mixing the color, to be honest, there's no real time on it. So just keep shaking it until you feel like the color is pretty consistent. And then you just know when it's done. All right, so now it's time to put the color we just mixed inside the cordless airbrush and see what kind of consistency we get. Because to be honest, this is all just trial and error. All right, let's test it out. Let's see what color we created. Let's see if it's harsh. Let's see if it's too light, too dark, whatever it is. Let's check it out. Let's see what we got. That's the first spray. So as I can see, the color probably is not coming out the best way. It's a little light. So this is all you do. Simple things that you can do to just fix that little problem. You unscrew the bottle, you go for your Kiss Express or whatever, Beijing, whatever you wanna do, and you just add a little bit more. Just a little bit more and it should be fine because remember, this stuff is thick, so a little bit more. It look, might look like a lot that I put in there, but it honestly was a little bit. Yeah. Nah, I got it. Just, yeah, recording it too. Yeah, so as you heard, he was asking me if I was trying to find the mix. Man, don't worry about if I'm trying to find the mix. This is my mix. Nah, that's big, homie. We always look out for each other. You're always going to have Barber Brothers to help you out when you need it also. Just always remember that. So I'm testing out the spray to see if it's a little darker now. And I'm liking the way it looks. That's kind of what you want. You don't want it too dark. You don't want it too light. You want it somewhere in the middle so you can get that natural look. And you can see the difference. There you have it. There's your mix. Everything is good. But always remember, you have to clean it. Don't leave it in overnight because it will mess up your gun and you'll have to do even more cleaning than what I'm showing you. So just make sure you dump it into the sink, wash it out so it doesn't stain anything. And yeah, there you go. Next step is put a little bit of alcohol, clean it out a little bit more thoroughly, rinse it out, and you're good. You're good to go to use it the next time. What I'm doing at this point is I'm holding the front of the gun while the air is going off so then the bubbles can run and it can take out anything that's inside the gun. And always remember to clean the tip of it too because it will get clogged up.
there you go. You're all done. Put a little bit more alcohol in. See if the gun is coming out clear and you're good to go.